funnel and filter flask. This is our filter flask. It has tubing um, attached to it um, to suck air through it. And then this is our Buchner funnel. You want to stick this in here. Um, there's a rubber stopper on there so that it gets a good seal. And you want to stick that in there really tightly. Now we have this setup with a stand and a clamp. Um, this is really top heavy, so you always want to make sure you clamp it or have someone hold it so that it doesn't fall over and spill your precipitate. So we just want to put that in there, and we're going to plug this into the aspirator over here. Get that in there nice and tight, and then we're just going to clamp this down so that it doesn't fall over, and we're ready to filter. My name is Casey, and I'm here to put the filter paper inside of that. Put the filter paper in, and then once you put the filter paper in, you're going to wet it with the uh, ionized water. We do this because we don't want the precipitate to end up underneath the filter, the filter paper, so that the water will stick to it. And allow it. How to properly pour what you're filtering into the filter. Um, what you want to do is quickly swirl this to get the precipitate off the sides and then pour it in there so that you can get as much of the precipitate as possible. Um, and so you just swirl it quickly and pour it. Okay, we forgot to turn the back in. You will turn on the vacuum by just pressing on the thing, and there we go. Hi, I'm Joe. And for the next step, uh, you can see that there's still precipitate left in the beaker. So what you need to do is you need to take some DI water. And you might want to wait for this to kind of go down a little bit so it doesn't overflow. But once it gets to a certain point, you can just... Rinse this off. Oh, yeah. Rinse and repeat. You want the filtrate in the bottom of the flask to be as clear as possible. On the left was our first filtration, on the right is our second, and as you can see it is much clearer and thus being a better filtration uh, the second time around. One thing to know about this is the KFP value. Um, KFP is the product of the equilibrium concentrations of ions in a saturated solution of, of salt. And the KFP is related to solubility. Um, the higher the KFP value, the more soluble the substance is. So if there's a really low KFP value, we know that it will, per, it will form a precipitate.